Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're going to look at a drawing question, an orthographic drawing question, and we're also going to just uh, go through the question and have a look at the mark scheme. Right, question one. Question one says, complete the third angle orthographic projection of the rechargeable torch charging station below in the space provided. So you can see there, there's figure one, and you can see what we're actually looking at is something like this, the, the base that it slots into. So we've got a slot there, slot there that the, the torch fits into. So what it's asking is basically we've got a plan view here, a side view, and we just have to add the front view. So we've got equipment we've got is a pencil, a ruler, we've also got a rubber, that's kind of what we need. Um, it's five marks. So first of all, to get our position, we're going to project our lines down lightly with a pencil. We're going to project down there and we're going to project down here. Just project those lines down and that gives us our space that way. Then from the side view, we can project across here. So we can project these lines. These lines are just what we'd call construction lines. So they're quite light, but you should be able to see them. And we're going to project that line across here. And we can see now we've got the kind of footprint, if you like, of the front view. Then we've got this line here. This line's fairly important. This is a kind of waistline. And we're going to put that across there. We could also, um, if we took the center of the LED, I'm just going to kind of guesstimate that. And we took the center of the LED there. We've got a position here for our LED. So... I think what I'll do first of all is just draw the LED in because that's easy. So there's our LED position. Then we've got these radii here on the corners. You can see this the shape of it is all rounded off. So and we've also got a, a, a taper here on the base. So if we just come down here, and we're going to just put these in by hand. And we can put those in by hand. Then we're going to do what we call lining in. So all of the lines that we want to keep, or the outlines of the actual object, we're going to go around those with a pencil and just make that a slightly thicker line so that the object stands out. The bottom here. So that should be, if it's five marks, we've probably got a couple of marks of the lines, the LED, getting the radii correct. Last of all, we've got this hidden detail. So there's obviously a slot that that fits into. So to get that hidden detail, we can project that line down there, that line there. And you can see the hidden detail is denoted by a dotted line. And then this line comes across here. And then this line we can just put in for our last of our five marks, we can just use the correct dotted lines. We've used the ruler and just put a series of, I suppose, short dashes and and there we go. And we could just clean that up, we'll clean it up a bit with the uh, rubber, but we can leave the construction lines in too. Um, and that's question one, the first part. OK, let's look at the mark scheme here. So it's quite a basic mark scheme. We've got the completed um, front view there. And we've got the completed isometric. And the marking guidance, it says, award marks for outline shape, hidden detail, LED detail, correct radii. So really on both. You're going to pick up a mark for the outline shape, getting that correct. You're going to pick up one mark for adding the hidden detail, one mark for adding the LED detail, and one mark for correct radii. And really, the, the, the second part of the question, again, is getting the radii correct, getting the lines, really a mark for each line, a mark for the LED. So one, two, three, four, five marks. So that's the mark scheme, quite simple. What you've got to take from this as well, if this was a 10 mark question, even if you don't get the 10 marks, 
you know, just drawing in some of it, you might miss out the hidden detail or something like that, but it's an easy way to pick up marks in your GCSE exam. Okay, thanks for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology. I hope you found this useful. If you did, really consider subscribing because it really helps me to grow the channel. Thank you very much.